All right, let's move on to our next game. All right, so we're back at home still with our home computer, the Atari home computer. This is basketball on the Atari home computer. Let's take a look at some of the artwork. There's the box front. So this one has five computer games. I'm pretty sure it's got to be based on the basketball game that was on the Atari home console. Or the same identical game, just now you can play it on the computer. One thing I love about the Atari computer is it uses cartridges just like the Atari 2600. And there's our cartridge. And, okay, there's an example of a disc. So it did have different mediums besides just the cartridge. Another thing that makes the home computer world so hard to play and emulate nowadays is the home computer can have different mediums. I know we're talking about the Atari home computer, but there's going to be so many home computers that use different mediums, different types of floppy disks, uh, cassettes, cartridge uh, uh, d disks. And so the, to find the games and get the games all to work correctly, because you also have to depend sometimes on the, the correct model of computer to play. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes playing these home computer games is not going to go as smooth as you'd expect. I uh, wink at Commodore 64. Just wait till we get to that one. All right, so there's the example of the screenshots, and it looks different. This is different than the basketball game we played on the Atari home console. All right, so here's our manual for basketball. There is a game description. The objective is to score more points. Yeah, that's every basketball game. The home team always shoots for the left basket, has the score at the top, the left of the screen. The visitors shoot at the right basket and have the score on the top right of the screen. See the game descriptions for game by game breakdown. When a basket's made, the scoring basket resets the center court. Okay, so it might be similar to the arcade version we played, at least the way it explains it there. And then here we go. The uh, joystick is uh, which uh, 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 how to control the joystick. Oh, it's a one, two, or three, four player game. I don't think we've played a four player game on a home computer before. I wonder if there's four cartridges sl slots or uh, ports for the controllers. Four controllers on a home computer, that's awesome. So it shows you the different uh, game and how many players. So since we have one player, we'll play, be playing game one. And then there you go, it shows you which jack. It does have four uh, controller jacks on the Atari home computer. And I'm curious if it was the 400 or the 800 that had that. So there's the cartridges and then it shows you how to use the controller and then how to play offense and defense. And then uh, the des descriptions of the different games you can play. Five different games using that awesome Atari artwork. All right, let's see what versions we have. We are ready. It's December 1979, playing basketball on the Atari 8-bit home computer. There we go. We're ready to play. All right, so to start the game off, let's see what happens when we start with game one. Oh, man, yeah, I got a crazy hard computer against me. So I'm on the right side, and I'm going for a basket here. Go get in there. Oh, he got, he got the steal from me. Let's see. Okay, I, I can steal it back from him. So this is a lot more intense and high high pace than any other basketball game we've played at home so far. And it's using kind of the pressure sensitive, uh, pushing the button down. <laughs> the longer you hold the button down, the higher uh, and farther the shot goes. Can I steal it? Oh, he still got the basket. Oh, yeah, the computer is ruthless. It goes so fast. Getting the steal in. Let's see if I can get one, get another shot in there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Over the top. Can I steal it? No, he still got the basket for that one. And yeah, the, the playing with lifelike players at home, compared to the other home basketball games we played, this one plays uh, the best of anything we've played so far. Very easy to control. It's the Atari joystick. So one joystick, one button, and then that button, the longer you hold it down, is the farther the basketball will go. <laughs> oh, he got the steal from me. So I am playing against the computer. There is different game modes. If you have other controllers, you can play with other people. Can I steal? Yeah, there we go. So the steal is really easy. All you do is just run in front of him. And if you get the, the timing right, then you steal the ball. <laughs> that was a terrible shot that time. There we go. See, I didn't have to push a button. It just stole it automatically. Get in there. Good. Okay, so we got that one. So that was excellent for a home basketball game. Even though it was on the computer, not many people had the Atari home computer. We're going to give that one um, above average for the time. I'm going to say even excellent. Uh, let's go with... For what you could play at home, I'd say four and a half stars for a uh, basketball on the Atari home computer.